so it's kind of hard not to say um but I'm gonna do my best and I think it's interesting how a lot of people use that over and over and over but yet even when they get a conscious thought of saying um over and over when they actually hear it when another person hears it they don't even hear it like I watched your video and uh, I honestly didn't recognize that you had said it until the little blue letters that you so kindly provided popped up so I'm gonna do my best not to say it but I'm not gonna take the time to go through and, and edit and put it in every time so maybe somebody will comment and tell me how many times I say that word that I'm not gonna say cuz we're trying not to say it um, okay that's one that counts as one so yeah you know what I mean I thought it was interesting I think it's pretty funny how everybody when they imitate somebody especially if they're from the UK if they're imitating somebody who is stupid or acted in a dumb way they have an American accent and you totally switched you you said and um it was it was really interesting up until he said well blah 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 and it was an American accent and uh, yeah kinda tells you where we're standing in this place called the world and I think I'm going to move or at least change my accent Futurama Futurama my favorite character in Futurama is Zap Brannigan because he's a total douchebag and he doesn't try to hide it that's pretty cool I don't know he's funny he's funny right right is that branding in last thing I'm gonna explain something especially the American viewers when we get tea when most people get tea they go to the store and they buy the Lipton tea bags most people well I don't know around here most people drink iced tea but um even if you drink hot tea usually they they get the like Lipton tea bags, sometimes herbal tea, but most people don't go so crazy as to get the really awesome teas that I see that you have. And uh, when I was in LA last, I picked up a bunch of um, it's two a uh, bunch of the teas that you just had, and so I was gonna kind of show people what they look like. When you get them, they look like this. They're just a looks like a seed pod sort of wrapped in cotton but it's just the it's the flower blossom that hasn't that's been dried and they come in a little package like this this is jasmine and you put it in the water and you drink it in a clear glass and as it sits in the hot water it opens up and um, then you have a nice flower in your tea and it's a jasmine flower and it tastes like tea there doesn't taste like pollen I don't know yeah, thought I'd give you that little explanation. Um, you can definitely buy them in LA. You can probably get them uh, I don't know, other places too. So check it out. That's all I had to say. So thank you for your video, and uh, yeah, more later.